Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we have a very honorable guest with us, uh, Mr. His Excellency Mr. Sher Ali Jananov. Uh, in fact, Sher Ali Janan, who is the Ambassador of Republic of Tajikistan to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Sir, we cordially welcome you to the Barrier University's TV studio. Today we are going to discuss about Pakistan and Tajikistan's bilateral relationship and the prospects for the relationship and how can we improve this uh, relationship between the two countries. Sir, I would like to ask you about uh, the um, an overall perspective about the Tajikistan and Paj Pakistan relationship right from the independence of Tajikistan till now. Then we'll be, you know, going towards the next questions regarding Casa 1000 and the Afghanistan and Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the future of relationship. So first, I would request you to give a, you know, uh, a preview of uh, Pakistan-Tajikistan relationship. Thank you very much. It is a good honor for me to be here in one of the distinguished universities of Pakistan, Bahia University. And I have had also honor to meet with your students today with very useful and open discussion. Our history comes from centuries. And uh, however, we had only 27 years official uh, relations. But look at the history. History of Pakistan and Tajikistan, they have spiritual, cultural, religious, traditional bonds and relations. And we, in the past, uh, had very uh, close relations in trade, also in literature, uh, in uh, architecture, in the construction of uh, cities and the development of buildings. People from Central Asia came to subcontinent. They brought Persian language as language of literature and the science. Uh, we also brought here knowledge about the ar new architecture of buildings, about Islam as well as. And but officially, yes, we when we got independent in 1992, Pakistan was among the first countries which recognized our independence and opened its embassy in Dushanbe. Since that time, we uh, have been working closely to improve our relations. And today, look at uh, our experience. We can probably say that our relations between Tajikistan and Pakistan, the best sample of Netherlands in international area. We gave to our neighbors the best samples, how to should we work mm. and how to be good neighboring. And in July 2017, we have signed agreement on which Pakistan and Tajikistan became strategic partnership. We develop our relations in energy. We are working on the Casa Avanzada project. We are working on transport and trade. We are working on science technology and defense security as well as. So our political uh, interaction, it was so frankly that uh, I can tell you that Tajikistan during the five years was the most visited of countries after the Saudi Arabia. Mm. We had honor to receive your delegation on high level. Your Prime Minister went to Dushanbe, former Prime Minister. Your President went to Dushanbe, chief armies, uh, military uh, leadership. Uh, we uh, uh, had received your ministers of energy, transport, trade. So look at our interaction, how we're close and how we're well developing. And you, we are working on energy and Casa Avanza project, which is one of the leading projects in the region. And inshallah by 2021, we'll be able to supply to Pakistan uh, more clean and cheap energy. Mm -hmm. By the way, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, 16th of November, we have official ceremony of opening ceremony of first of unit of Ragun Hida power station and we'll be able now supply to Pakistan maybe after two year, one years 3600 megawatt oh, energy that's massive. which that's massive. based based on uh, Heidel it's very green in green economy and, and, and cheap energy that's and that's massive so keeping in view the Casa 1000 project and you know you have you have talked about the range of uh, um, areas where Pakistan and Tajikistan are cooperating with each other. In fact, we have very good relationship with Tajikistan. 
and I personally believe that Tajikistan is a gateway for Pakistan to Central Asia as well as Russia. Yes, you're right. But the problem is that, you know, uh, of instability in Afghanistan, it does not let us to connect with each other by road. Mm -hmm. That is why, you know, the trade volume between Tajikistan and, uh, and, and Pakistan is very low. Yeah. Um, don't you think that uh, Afghanistan's instability is, uh, in fact, the major reason um, for not having cordial relationship or, you, you know, multi-facet type of relationship between Pakistan and uh, Tajikistan, whether it is Casa 1000, whether it's TUTOP, the Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan yes, project, right. and then obviously people-to-people -people connectivity and all those things. Yeah. I th we believe, we believe that uh, peace and stability in Afghanistan, first of all, benefit of whole entire region. First of all, for, for Pakistan, Pakistan unfortunately became first victim of Afghan war. Yes, and uh, your nation uh, has paid a very high price the in the way of against the terrorism. Only due your efforts of Pakistan efforts, especially your army, you broke backbone of terrorism in the region. It was very important, a significant contribution for peace stability in the region. Alhamdulillah, we now reached stability. Uh, terrorism has been rooted out from your country. And uh, now we are looking for a new perspective and development. And of course, in this way, not only just uh, discussing Tajikistan and Pakistan, also working on new project like motorway, Peshawar Turkham, Turkham mm. Jalalabad, Kabul, Kabul, Kunduz, Panjipayon. We are discussing about the connectivity of railway connection. We have already discussed about two projects. One, Peshawar Turham, Turham Jalabad to Kunduz and Mazari Sharif. Second option is Quetta, Chaman, Spimbaldak, Kandahar. It goes to Hirat. Third, uh, we are uh, focusing on, uh, on uh, education and science and technology. We believe that Pakistan also does uh, providing every year huge number of scholarships for Afghan students. Yes. The same we do, helping of Afghan youth to get knowledge, to get some uh, specialization in, in their life, at the same time to bring them hope for future. Hmm. If youth will have some job, they will never go to another wrong way. It is very important for us. And by the way, very important for us, we, Pakistan and Tajikistan, have the common approach and understanding that peace and stability of Afghanistan can be achieved only through peaceful activities. That's great. That's it great that, you know, both the countries, they are on the same page so far Afghanistan and stability is concerned. If we uh, broaden it more and we drag Shanghai Cooperation Organization into the focus, mm -hmm. since Pakistan is now the full-fledged member of uh, SCO, yeah. and obviously, um, Tajikistan played a very important role, crucial role uh, for the membership of Pakistan and SCO. We are thankful to you uh, for that as well. Um, and you know that Shanghai Cooperation Organization, is, it consists of almost half the population of the world and yeah. um, huge eco economy if you uh, incorporate the economies of uh, these seven states into one. And obviously Iran uh, is the, the, the observer of uh, yeah. Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So in one or the other way, except Turkmenistan, all the countries, neighboring countries of Afghanistan, they are part and parcel of Shanghai mm. Cooperation Organization. So what, you know, efforts uh, the SCOs, you had been the Deputy Secretary General of uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization as well. What steps it has taken to resolve the Afghanistan's uh, issues and bring stability over there? and what, I what steps it can take uh, to bring in stability? Because Afghanistan's stability means stability of the whole broader yes. region, and instability of Afghanistan means instability for the whole region. You're right. First of all, I would like to congratulate you, you especially Pakistan, for joining to SCO. Thank you very much. We are very happy and very glad to see you in among, among us. My president was f among the first leaders who supported Pakistan membership for SCO. Alhamdulillah became reality. By joining of SEO to Pakistan to SEO, we also got some new tremendous opportunities. Mm. First of all, 
for how to struggle against the terrorism. You have the best experience. Your army done great job. Second, your transit trade facilities brings to ACO new chance, new shortest way to reach seaports. And of course, <coughs> also your uh, potential in industry, especially in textile, in, the, uh, in uh, machinery, agricultural, in education as well as, it brings new, some power energy to ACO. Idea of ACO is very simple. It to create some peaceful area where we can develop at the same time education, science, technology, agricultural, uh, industry, energy, transport. For this, is first of all, we need peace and stability. Idea of uh, ACO is. Afghanistan, we uh, think uh, it's, it's uh, our neighbor. We are not sharing with Afghanistan borders, but we share with them history, our past, our presence, and our future. Uh, Pakistan was supportive in the, in the beginning in peace stability in Afghanistan. You propose that uh, should be direct talks between parties who are involved in this conflict. We, at the same time, uh, help Afghanistan improving the economic situation in area which close to our borders. We built fifth bridges between Tajikistan and Afghanistan. We developed a uh, near border trade. We are giving uh, scholarship for Afghan students. We are giving free of cost using our facilities in hospitals for people who are living in production areas, especially Afghanistan. And giving some hope that we are sharing with Afghanistan also the same, the same uh, responsibility as a position. Tajikistan supplies to Afghanistan about 2 billion kilowatt per hour, uh, just keeping and uh, supporting the activity of government, law borders, universities, schools, hospitals, is also very important for us. At the same time, we are encouraging Afghanistan to join the inter-regional project, mm -hmm. like Casa 1000, like TAPI, and so also will be a uh, regional railway network, which also brings new development for Afghanistan itself. Yeah, so it means that uh, connectivity, connecting Afghanistan with the broader region and its neighbor, immediate neighbor, it would bring stability in Afghanistan. Sure, it sure, would definitely, yes, you know, of course. Uh, that's great. So uh, coming back to Pakistan and Tajikistan relationship, being a member of uh, academic community, uh, representing a university, um, I think, you know, people-to-people -people connectivity is more important than, you know, state-to-state -state right. connectivity. Absolutely right. We have very good relationships <laughs> at state levels, awesome relationship, but so far people-to-people -people connectivity is concerned. You know, you were just explaining that it's uh, one uh, an hour drive, uh, uh, flight, flight from Islamabad to Dushanbe. I yeah. mean, if you want to go to Karachi from Islamabad, it take two hours. But if you're going to Dushanbe, it would take only one hour. But unfortunately, we don't have direct access yes, to right. Tajikistan. So, do you think that there is a potential of uh, academic collaboration between Pakistani universities and uh, the Tajik universities, as well as think tanks, research organizations which are working over here, are there? In that way, we, are, we will be in a better position to know each other, and it would bring the two nations, in fact, more closer to each other. What kind of you know steps we can take in this regard? I, uh, if you look at uh, the joint declaration, which have been signed by the leadership. One of our instructions they have given to us, it was to develop people-to-people -people contact. It means education, cultural, tourism, science technology. So youth interaction must be promoted. Uh, we did some small analysis. Uh, one of the problems which, I mean, uh, it's obstacles and impediments between our countries, it's absence of flight between our capitals. Yes. Distance, I mean, the, from Dush Islamabad to Dushanbe, it takes one hour. You couldn't mm. believe mm. Uh, one hour. But uh, I have some good news for you. We already uh, had meetings between our civil aviation of Pakistan and Tajikistan, where we discussed how we should open flight as soon as possible between our, our capitals. Unless people don't move, nothing moves. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, what it because. Uh, I also have been to university today, I was honored and to please to see your youth were committed, well-educated, 
and their desire to change their country, their life more better. I, it was a positive signal for me. That, that's why we have to also establish bridge between our youth, because youth is our future. They are coming for the next generation, and very important, they should know each other yes. very well. Yes. In case, I also encourage and thank you for your support, I mean, inviting me to your university. It is uh, good uh, for, as ambassador, very also good for me to see by my own eyes about your youth. Alhamdulillah, they are doing very well. But I wish, I wish, uh, also with the plan, that we have to start a change of youth delegation, students, like youth ambassadors. We have to have some video conference between our uni universities and juniors, un universities. Yeah, I think that, 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 is, that is something must, must, must be, be doing. Must be done. You should be an exchange of literature, your publication, your research, uh, your articles between your counterpart in Dushanbe. In this way, it's very important, significant in the element of our relations with the promote. Uh, I today met with your rector and uh, we discussed how we uh, should visit in near uh, time with our delegation. Looking forward to see you in Dushanbe and let's to open new page in our history. That would be a great avenue, in fact. Uh, one more thing is that, uh, you know, Tajikistan is a beautiful country, I mean, awesome country, having um, mountains, steppes, and, you know, uh, the rivers, springs, mm -hmm. and all that thing. Nature has given you so yeah, much beauty over there. But again, unfortunately, tourism between two countries is not to that extent which should have been. Uh, keeping all these things in view, you know, tourism, uh, uh, the, the academic exchanges, uh, economic relationship, political relationship, and all these things, how do you see the future of Pakistan and Tajikistan relations? One thing I would definitely add to it is that since you are the ambassador in Pakistan, it's been like five, six years. And during this time, you have done great efforts to bring those bo both the countries closer to each other. We must acknowledge that, that, you know, it was during your <coughs> times that the relationship between the, the, the two countries, they have improved a lot. We have got closer to each other. And as you have explained in your interview that we have stuck a strategic partnership deal last year as well. Yeah. So, you know, this is something um, unthinkable from the Pakistani perspective back in 1990s, but you have, you have done a great job. So what's the future of Pakistan-Tajikistan relationship? First, let me know to say that uh, I am only uh, pursuing policy of my, my president. Uh, His Excellency Imani Rahman, leader for a nation. He, he is a great friend of Pakistan. He is a vision regarding the Pakistan. We respect him. We respect him as well. We have future. Uh, it is very positive and very well. As being ambassador and uh, represent him in the, your country, I only, uh, only did I mean I mean his instruction to improve. It says second. I mean I also received very warm welcoming from your nation, from willingness of your country. When I came here and I saw that, look, I mean we're the same nation, no difference between Pakistan and Tajikistan. Maybe only language. Maybe or do we speak yes. in the do we yes. speak in Tajiki, Farsi language. But the same cuisine, the same dress, the same tradition, the same name, uh, the same history, yes. the same values, the same religious, it brings us closer. I believe, I believe that uh, uh, we are doing very important now steps towards to getting closer. Look at the foreign policy. Pakistan approach to Central Asia, improved relations with all entire region. We developed our relations all entire fields, including I mentioned uh, energy, transport, trade, uh, science, technology, uh, investment, uh, mining. So and uh, even the defense and security. It gives some false positive signals that inshallah we have been waiting for bright future. But of course, in this way, very important. Again, I would like mention a very important your role, professors, scholars, think tanks, students, who should conduct very well research in which way we should focus on. And uh, I uh, believe that we soon uh, open flight between uh, Dushanbe and Islamabad. Second, I, would love, I, would I would love to fly to Dushanbe. You are most welcome. <laughs> we'll be first passenger, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. And second, already in April, we uh, had a video conference between your Tourism Development Authority and our uh, Committee on Tourism.
Okay. Uh, let me to explain our experience about tourism. Uh, your first of all, uh, uh, according to the decree of my president, 2018 was announced of a year of development of tourism. Right. Government has given uh, tax exemption for all tourism companies. Second, we simplified our visa regime. That's great. Now we have conducted e-visa, so everybody who wish go to Dushanbe, just on, on online, you can get your visa and most welcome to Dushanbe. So, and uh, third steps, I believe we have to start a change of musician groups, uh, theater, so uh, some musical artists, and of course students. I've seen your cinema industry, mashallah, I was surprised when you had in the past when I say developed cinema industry, uh, but also to focus on in our uh, developing your promoting your cinemas in Tajikistan. Mm. Uh, look at the history, the same. Why should also to uh, join our hands to do one cinema also? Yes, join venture between Tajikistan and Pakistan. That is very very uh, good idea that we yeah. should have you know uh, collaboration, joint collaboration. In fact, yeah. um, in the media industry where our dramas, our movies can be telecasted all in Tajikistan and you are in Pakistan. Yes, you're right, well. right. And also in, the, in Dushanbe we have Urdu department oh, since 1949, one of the good. oldest Urdu department in the Soviet Union. So why also should exchange our teachers who yeah. come here to, to your So university? this is something new for us. Yeah, yeah. To know Impro you improve their knowledge and uh, mm -hmm. their uh, skills. Also send your students to Tajikistan to learn our languages, our history, so we should start work now. Yes, um. yes. And we know that uh, uh, you are a good poet as well. Uh, Not poet, but as well. <laughs> you know, and you know, uh, you have read Iqbal as well. Uh -huh. So we would love to have uh, ending with, you know, some kind of poetry from your side as well. We uh, consider Iqbal as our poet. Yeah, thank we you. We call it Shauri Mashriq. Mm. And the Pakistan was fortunate having such leader, great leader, who gave idea of, of, of Pakistan in 1930 yes. in Muslim, during Muslim League yes. uh, conference in, in, in yeah. the time. And uh, we, in Dushanbe, I again would like to stress in Tajikistan, all books Alamani Ball have been published by support of my president. So That's uh, great. It is That's great. something great. And uh, 9 of November, uh, we uh, also celebrate Iqbal Day. Oh. So we, uh, you can find Dushanbe about m more hundred PhDs only, and about his poetry, oh. philosophy, oh. Uh -huh. uh, about his literature. So, and uh, I just want to conclude by his one great poetry, who said in Persian, "Ahli hakro, hujatu dawo yakist, khana ho imajudo lek dilho yakist." Even our home are separate, but our hearts. hearts together yeah yeah and i would like also we send to some message to your students that's alhamdulillah pakistan one of the best country in the world most thank beautiful you. thank you most blessed you only should efforts just to study m more hard more better and have some commitment to change your life of your nation of your future your kids your home your motherland more and better in this way you can find in face of Tajikistan, you're the best friend. Thank you very much for your prayers. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your best wishes for Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan and Tajikistan, they, are, they have historical relationship that spans over centuries, even before the advent of Islam. The caravans from Central Asia to Hindustan, Hindustan to Central Asia, they used to cross this region. And when uh, Islam came to Central Asia, and that Islam, also spread from Central Asia to northern part of Hindustan that is now Pakistan. So we are Muslims because of the Central Asian people, our culture, uh, our traditions, they are more closer to, they are closer to the Central Asian uh, states than to Hindustan and rest of the region. So we wish that the relationship between Pakistan and Central Asia and especially Tajikistan, they would more prosper and uh, people to people connectivity, it would also increase and one day uh, people from Pakistan and Tajikistan, they would be frequently traveling to each other. We thank you very much, Ambassador Excellency, for your time, for thank your you kind much. consideration, and we hope that this uh, cooperation will continue in future as well. It's an honor to be here. Sir, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much.